Hey, 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 what's up everybody? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and we've got some more LEGO City Undercover for you today. In fact, we got special assignment number five, Dirty Work, also known as LEGO City Bank on your LEGO City map. And we got the free play version, of course, so we're going to get all those collectibles, including a red brick, a couple of character and vehicle tokens, a couple of gold bricks that we didn't get in our story mode, and of course, those police shield pieces. Now, here we are, right where we left off, and we're going to go ahead and check out a couple of things, including our red bricks. In fact, actually, we forget to turn on our red bricks, and we turn them on later, so make sure you turn on your 2x red stud brick multiplier, or 2x red brick stud multiplier, I said that a little awkwardly, but... Uh, Nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and pay attention to Lego City Bank, which is down in kind of the southeast corner of your map. And yes, we're sure we're going to go ahead and select that. And this time we're going to actually go to the change disguises. Now, if you've been following along, we assume that you've actually checked out our fr uh, preparing for free play video and have obtained Rex Fury. That's right. We're going to go ahead and check him out. There he is. He actually costs you a cool 1 million studs. And if you need some help finding him, check out our preparing for free play. But it's important that when you go to the change disguises, you actually go to the criminals. As you can see, that's where we find his costume so uh, keep in mind he can actually use the crowbar and all those things just like our chase mccain robber edition so we're good to go in that aspect the only difference is he's got that super strength apparently he ate his wheaties for breakfast that morning or this morning i guess <laughs> all right we have officially loaded in we have removed the cutscene, and just in case you were unaware we have ever so slightly sped this up so if you notice the movements are happening a little bit faster for me it's not because of a red brick or a cheat it's actually because we speed it up in our editor so all right we're gonna switch to our astronaut version of Chase McCain. We're going to come towards the front left side of our screen and do a little swimming, or I guess jetpacking, to get out to that little island there. And of course, use that teleporter to beam ourselves up. And look at that. We've got our first character token, which happens to be Intergalactic Girl, which, correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe that is one of the characters we get to play with in LEGO Worlds. Hmm. So it's kind of cool seeing some of those things roll over. And hey, Thumbies, helpful tip. Use the quick links down below in the video description to reach the next collectible. Now, we have all sorts of quick links available to you. And if you're in a hurry to find, per se, maybe the red brick or something like that, feel free to skip ahead to those because that is what they are there for. Meanwhile, we're going to go ahead and use our crowbar in the back left corner of the area. And it actually reveals the first little turn wheel spinny thingy. And look at that. We go ahead and put it on and spin to win, which opens up this little sewer line here, which it's kind of a funny angle to get in, but just stick with it. Maybe do a little jumping, hip it to the hopper, and you just don't stop it. And uh, once you get in there, look at that. You grab the key, and we're going to go ahead and take that key up and around to where that green arrow is bouncing down. All right, spin to win again. That's right. We got to go ahead and open the door. And once we get in, we're actually going to use the old super strength of Rex Fury. That's right. Uh, we actually have some, uh, some pretty good tight pants, tight rope, and walking to do here in a minute. But we're going to come down here and spam, 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 spam. That circle button, I guess it could be the old B button for you, depending on which platform you're playing on. And once you rip that up, look at that. We've got ourselves a remote control boat. That's right. Boats and controls, boats and controls. I guess that's not as cool as boats and foes as my earlier parody song. That's right, boats and foes, boats and foes. I don't remember the song, but I know it was boats and foes. <laughs> All right, when we successfully make it around the little racetrack there, we actually get that police crest shield piece, and we get to move on. But for me, I'm going to actually drive around and pick up some extra studage, because why not? I mean, we got a few bluesies and some gold and silver twosies, so might as well collect them up as we have a requirement that's 180,000 studs. Now, as it turns out, we have a 2x stud multiplier that we will put on here in a minute, and it certainly helps us get through it. I notice right now that, wait a minute, I don't have my, my stud studs. <laughs> I don't have my red bricks on. Whoa. Whoa there, speedy talker. Slow it down there. It's getting hard to understand you. And I am referring to myself, just in case you're wondering. All right, we have officially turned on our super color gun red brick, which we also got in our preparing for free play. Now, that is not a necessity. And in this particular case, it does not help us out very much because we can't go any further. We have to do a little bit of, uh, you know 
tight pants tight rope in here. Look at that. We've got a shimmy along the little ledge there. And basically, there are three little items we need to pay attention to. The first one is a switch. The second one is a switch, but it's behind a crowbar door. So we're going to go ahead and spam that door open with the swickle or B button. And look at that. Flip the switch. Two down. One, two, go. Last one actually requires us to flip out our pickaxe. That's right. Make mincemeat out of those black and dark gray bricks and flip the final switch, which is going to stop that gross. I don't know what that is. It's like a fart spray or something coming out. It's green and it's stinky and it's coming from the sewer. So I don't know where what it is, but uh, we'll go ahead and stay clear of it. And we'll probably use some hand sanitizer when we're done flipping those switches because you can never be too safe. Now, hey, if you don't have that color gun super, uh, super color gun red brick, you could go ahead and use that color gun swapper right there to go ahead and activate the green color because it's red. Uh, the switch had red on it. We needed to switch it to green. That's right. Green means go. Once we got that all handled, we're going to take this box and slap it on the old green base plate, which actually gives us a handful of buildable bricks. So go ahead and get your own and build that up and check it out. Now we got a shimmy all the way down. Looks like there's something else you could have gotten over to the left hand side, too. There's a blue pole you could get up, probably just some studs. But we're going to go ahead and use our crowbar to get our on and go ahead and grow that bar door open. Inside, let's see here, what do we got? We find ourselves doing some more shimmying and dropping down. We actually have a fuse box that we can repair here, but that just gives us some studs, and I'll prove that to you in a second. But uh, we're going to smash this barrel here, which reveals a tracker spot. So pull out your old, uh, I don't know what this is, if it's an iPad or what it is, but pull out your tracker and get your track on and follow it all the way down to where the X marks the spot. And, of course, once you get down here, you got a couple of foes that are trying to take you down, so we will uh, we'll remove them by tossing them off into the sewage, and look at this, we find that X and well, yeah, X did mark the spot. And as it turns out, we got some dynamite. But first, let's go for a quick little swim. That's right, we're going to go into the toxic area over on the far right side where it's labeled poison and go into the back where we get Gotland. What in the heck is Gotland? That sounds like a Got Milk commercial or something. But uh, anyhow, uh, we're going to move along and we are going to switch on over to our mining costume to go ahead and pick up this dino mite and place it in place. Once we do, we're actually going to go ahead and pull out our robber edition again. And thank goodness we have the old super, uh, super color gun brick on because we can target anything we need and it gives us the appropriate color. So in this particular case, there's these four little duckies. That's right, rubber ducky. They're so fun. And we're going to go ahead and find four of those and paint them all. In fact, you can see two more of them right now as that camera pans around. One on the little shore that we stop on and one right above us. So we're going to go ahead and knock those out. Now, the fourth one is actually right at the end of this area. Not at the end of the level, but at the end of this area. Right before you take the ladder up, up, and out of here, we're going to go ahead and color one more little ducky. And look at this. I fixed this fuse box, and I thought for sure this was going to be something cool. But, I, you know, I already have the notes, so I already knew there wasn't a collectible there. But, you know, there's some weird stuff going on in some of these levels. In fact, we'll show you later. In this level, there is uh, what appears to be Loki's staff that we find, and we place it on where it appears to need to go. It's kind of like a little Loki staff shrine, so to speak, in the in the bank. I guess, I guess it's the lobby? And uh, anyhow, we're going to put that in place, and it's going to give us a bunch of studs. Nothing too cool, but hey, we're always ready for some studage, right? But uh, I tried to cheat the system there and do a little hippa to the hoppa off my uh, floaty there. No such luck. So we're going to follow the stud trail all the way down. Look at that. It works out for us anyways. There's a couple of blues and a poiple too. And we're going to go ahead and target the second ducky. And we're going to make our way up and around. And I'm actually going to avoid all these bad guys. Or I guess it's just the single bad guy. I thought there was two of them, but... Anyhow, we mark that third duck over on the left-hand side and then use our crowbar to go ahead and rip open the door and find another one of these handle spinny thingamajiggers. And we're going to take this right over to where the green arrow is. And look at me. I have run right by it thinking, oh, where am I, where am I taking this? But look at that. We've got ourselves a giant spray. We're going to write that upstairs here in a second. But what's this? We've got some muscle power over here. We're going to rip this open. And as it turns out, this actually is the color swapper for the yellow, which is what we need to paint those ducks. So if you do not have the super color gun brick, you can actually use that swapper right there to go ahead and change it to yellow and paint those three ducks. Now you will have to go back and ride the raft back over to the other side, but two of them are right there, so it shouldn't be too much of a hassle. And all right, so we are off and running. Ha <laughs> hassle, off and running. Ooh, I don't know if you caught that or not. I actually, it was kind of a slippage. It wasn't as good as it could have been. 
But uh, we're going to use our farmer to go ahead and water the flowers here. And look at that. It doesn't really do us any good. It gives us some studs. And again, we're always down for some studage. And look at this. we got a red barrel, which actually reveals some dynamite. We'll go ahead and use our minor edition of Chase McCain to go ahead and pick that dynamite up and slap it down in the brown barrel. Look at that. We've actually got our little crowbar door here on the left-hand side. And look at that. It happens to be the 4X stud multiplier. We will take that. And to be honest with you, I probably should have just turned it on right now. Just as a quick reminder for all you Xbox One and PS4 players, you do not need to actually purchase the red bricks. They are available to you right out the gate. So as soon as you collect them, they are yours, which is nice. Now, I know in the Wii U version and in all, pretty much all other LEGO games, you actually need to pay for those, which, I don't know, I guess that kind of takes some of the need for studage and, and stud grinding out. But uh, we got some multipliers on for those, and, you know, hey, it's going to help us out anyway, so... All right, we've officially got uh, another color gun swapper that we needed to do there, but luckily for us, we had the right color thanks to our color, super color gun brick. And all right, so here's the ladder. Do not go up that ladder. That'll take you out of this area, and it'll actually prevent you from getting the fourth and final ducky. So make sure you go all the way back over. In fact, I think you have to jump through those bars there. That's right. It's kind of a funny angle. And uh, speaking of which, hey, I say that a lot. Funny angle is kind of one of my like taglines, but I've totally stole it from a movie. Does anybody know what movie it is? Now, if you don't know, you can ask for a hint, and I can even give you some hints down below in the comments. But, you know, I'm curious. It's 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 a funny angle. That, that's totally a funny line in a movie. And it's kind of an older movie, probably 15 years or so old. But uh, anyhow, moving along on the right-hand side, when you get up the ladder, you're actually going to find a grate on the bottom. I guess it's really not that great. But uh, there is, right on the other side of the grate, is a little spot we can use our d -d 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 drill to get our d -d 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 dig on. And look at that. We got inside and we got that vehicle token. So I'm a little behind in my commentary, but that's all right. We're going to go ahead and smash the rest of the boxes in the room, which gives us a little box that we can slide down the checkerboard path. And look at that. We can actually get up to the next level and get over to the right where, what is this? Is it some dynamite? It is. Now, there is a red brick for unlimited dynamite, but as I'm being told, you can only activate that in the free room. And I don't know if that's by design or some sort of an accident, but uh, hopefully they'll patch that at some point. We'll be able to use unlimited dynamite because it'd be nice to just have, you know, dynamite in your back pocket at all times. Of course, we wouldn't light it until we needed it, right? I mean, that, that'd, be, that'd be silly. But, uh, all right, crowbar that door open and get into the bank vault, which is kind of weird. Notice we walked into a little shaft there, which I'm assuming some sort of like an air duct. And then it dropped us down. We like fell. Like, uh, where's the duct at? Uh, it's kind of weird. But uh, once we get in here, we've got uh, a couple of things going on. First off, we're going to crowbar the door on the right, which actually gives us some bricks that we can build into a color gun swapper. Now, because we already have that super color gun brick, we do not need to use that. But for those of you who need it, feel free to use it because we're going to go ahead and do some paint here in a second but uh but first we're actually going to use our stethoscope to go ahead and get into a couple of these safes there are four safes that need to be cracked in this area and we've got two of them down the other two are actually hidden behind some pallets one on the right side and one on the left side coming up make sure you push this one pallet down the checkerboard path and if you have not already shoot it with the color gun to go ahead and change the colors giving it the reflective ability now we've got uh, one other one we need to pull into place that's right i said pull not push that one's actually going to require the use of the grapple gun now if you notice, it's weird. You'd think that these laser beams would, like, you know, set off an alarm or maybe cut us or hurt us or something. But no, that doesn't seem to be the case. They just seem to be some sort of, but wait, they aren't just a reflective beam. They actually melted that gold. That doesn't make any sense. So we won't make too much of it as, uh, you know, it's something I do all the time. I tear apart movies. I'm like, why would that happen? How, how, would, how does that guy take 100 punches? In real life, that guy would be totally knocked out. The wife's always just like, dude. Just enjoy the movie. Let it go. So I'm going to let that one go. Like, I understand these red beams are hot. And uh, if you get on them, and technically you should melt. But uh, speaking of melting, whoopsie, I got a little anxious on that hackage. And I uh, took... A little bit of wrath for it. So, all right, fourth one open. All right, we got that third police shield piece. And uh, because we have stopped or actually melted that big gold piece there, we actually have access to this box now, which when we pick it up, it actually indicates that we need to take it over to that green base plate. And look at that. We've got ourselves another color swapper, and uh, we don't need it. But uh, if you do, feel free to use it. Change your color gun over to blue and paint that wall so you can climb up. And now we're up top, and look at that. We've got a couple of these little puzzle switch things. Now, this time, I actually 
remember what to do. If you watched our story version, I was totally lost. And it's totally self-explanatory. It's right in front of us. I don't know what I was thinking, what my problem was. But essentially, there are three handle wheels that you need to attach. Uh, once you get those attached, you need to spin to win and basically uh, go ahead and match up the colors of the spinning dial to the colors on the side of the spinning dial. Now, hey, if you uh, hurry to get to that next collectible, don't forget we do have those quick links down below in the video description. And we put those there for you. Make sure you let us know if those are on, accurate, or off. Because, uh, hey, if they're off, they're not going to do you any good. They're not going to speed up any processes for you. So, all right, we got all those matched up. We actually removed a very, very short cutscene where a couple of guys came in and it kind of gave us a little cue down to that uh, nice green jewel. We're going to skip that. In fact, we're going to skip these bad guys too because, hey, we don't need any studs. Well, that's the only thing they would have given us is a hard time and some studs. And, you know, we've got plenty of stuff to do. we got plenty of studs. So more bad guys ensue as soon as we get to the top. And we're going to go ahead and use that counterattack because it seems to work the best and take the least amount of button pressings. And look at that. All three men down. And we're going to trudge our way all the way to the far left corner where we find, yep, some sort of a floor polisher. We're going to do a little wax in here. That's right. A little Miyagi wax on, wax off. Uh, this time we're actually going to find these five piles they're weird kind of brown black dark piles on the floor here and we do some crazy acrobatics while we're cleaning i'm i'm not sure if that was a requirement or not but hey a uh, little bonus points for style mm -hmm. now uh keep in mind the whole point of this area is actually to find super bricks and complete a super build we'll get to those don't worry there's plenty in the area and if you've completed the story which we hopefully suggest that you have uh you're actually gonna get a 2x for all those super bricks too so uh, lots of bricks to be had, and you can see we have well over the amount needed, and if you want to, you can go ahead and uh, skip the rest of the super brickage. In fact, like I said, we've got some collectible quick links down below. If you've already got this one, now the fourth, or that's the fifth, fourth one, the fifth and final one is actually down towards the right side of our screen. There she blows. And hey, remember earlier I was talking about that Loki spot? Well, it's actually right there on the right-hand side as we collect that fourth police shield piece. Now, uh, we're going to switch on over to our astronaut version, and we got a space crate. That's right, space great! We'll go ahead and solve this puzzle. For once, I was actually paying attention, and I get it on my first try. <laughs> kind of reminds me of uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, you know, when they play the old music game for the alien. If you haven't seen that, that's a classic alien movie. It's not real scary, but it's kind of edgy, kind of edgy. Now, all right, we're going to ride this uh, transporter upstairs. That's right, Scotty has officially beamed us up yet again. Once we get up here, we see that there's an elevator with a switch, a color gun swapper, uh, some ropes trying to prevent us from going on the far left side, and we, uh, we we get kind of enticed by these studs, and we actually make a mistake and go for them and fall off. When we fall off, we actually drop down on accident. Whap, 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 whap. Now that we're down here, we're going to switch back to the astronaut and get back up top. Once we do... Guess what? We've got some things to do. We're going to actually make our way over to the far left-hand side of the area. We're going to skip those studs because guess what? We don't need them. And there's some more trying to lure us in down there. But again, the one not going to fool us this time. We're going to go all the way over here and look at this. We've got something that needs to be painted. And again, luckily for us, we've got that super color gun brick on, which is going to paint the correct color when needed. And it looks like we needed two colors. We needed brown and blue. That's an awkward color. Last I heard, brown and blue do not go together. Now, once we paint those the appropriate color, both doors of these kind of safe rooms open up. And we go inside and we destroy a bunch of stuff. And look at that. That's where I find Loki's staff. I'm not sure really if that's supposed to be Loki's staff. But tell me that doesn't look like Loki's staff. Now, we go into the next room, and guess what? There's a bunch of treasure, but there's also the bank manager of character tokens. So we'll go ahead and take that. Thank you very much. And guess what? We uh, officially are on our way out. We're going to go ahead and place this staff over here. We do have some super bricks we're going to go ahead and round up as well. But that should do it, ladies and gentlemen. Look, see, look, it didn't even really do anything. We got that staff there. Maybe there's another staff. See, it looks like there was maybe one more. You know, I didn't bust up everything in that other room where I got the character token. Maybe there's another staff in there. I, you know, I got to be honest. I don't know. I'm kind of intrigued now. Like, part of me wants to go back and see. But, however, I hate it when I make a bunch of effort to go back and see something cool like that. And I find out that it's just some studs or something boring. Now, again, studs are not always boring. But in this particular case, we've got plenty. In fact, we don't even have our 4X stud multiplier on. So, we're going to have an 8X here as soon as we turn that on. And uh, that's going to be great. 8 is always great. Now, all right, we've used our grapple to go ahead and pull down those pictures and rebuild them up into the puzzle solutions. Now, they are color-coded, and each color has a number attached to it. We're going to go ahead and match that color to the number. Now, I felt a little short there. I wasn't sure if that was going to count, so I bumped it right along to the next one. Uh, next is going to be green, and it's going to be seven, man, seven. 
So go ahead and spin it around. Look at that. That was quick and easy. And next, but well, I guess it's last but not least, we need to have red. Look at that. The X has red on it. And uh, look at that. It pukes out a bunch of studs and gives us the key needed to access this. Uh, I guess that's kind of the employee lounge. And it's weird because it takes us down and then it actually loads us into the other area like it's a completely different area. Watch this. That, that's kind of unusual, but hey, we get a super brick right off the bat, which usually counts as a thousand, but because we have that 2x on, it's going to give us 2,000, so we won't complain about that. We'll go ahead and switch to our mining outfit and pull out some dynamite. And look at that, we're going to take it right on over to the green bouncing arrow, which happens to be a brown barrel, and booyaka shao, we blow up the gold statue, and he, his hat just kind of rolls on over and busts open the other side. Of, I don't know if that's the employee lounge or what, but we'll take it because we can get inside and get some collectibles. Actually, we're just going to get another super break, so sorry to build your hope up there. There's no more collectibles. Get over that. We're, we're on with that. You should have known that because there's no more quick links. Ah! But uh, all right, we're going to go ahead and crack the safe using our criminal edition, which happens to be Rex Fury this time. And Booyah Kashel will take that super brick and add it to our collection. Look at that. We got 154,000. And we got one more coming. Look at that. 170. So that must have been two large and in charge ones times two. We'll take them. We will take them. All right, next up, we got to go build this crazy plow out here. I do take one last peek with my scanner to see if there are any more bricks that need to be got. But as it turns out, the last but not least is the actual build itself. So we'll go ahead and hop on the old pad and get our build on. That's right, it's a jet-powered snow plow. Rex is pretty excited about that. I, technically, it's Chase that's excited about it. But you know what I'm saying. We'll go ahead and get on that bad boy and roll on out, which takes us to the final credits, or totals, I guess. And Booyaka Shao, we got that stud times four red brick. We got all four of those police shield pieces. Now, is it just me, or does it seem weird that the ending, like the, the totals, is a little different? When you've already completed the story, it doesn't really give you that, hey, you completed this, la-di-da. It, it just goes straight to the collectibles, which, speaking of which, we got all four of the tokens, both of the character and both of the vehicles. Vehicles. And of course, we went cruising right on by that real city here requirement of 180,000. And uh, yeah, we got a gold brick along the way, or did we get two? We did. Woohoo! All right, so. We have officially made it through five of the special assignments, which means we're a third of the way through the uh, free play. Now, we've got a bunch of free roam, and there's tons of collectibles that we need to find there. And those are going to be uh, quite interesting, as Dougie doesn't write the guide for the free roam. So I'm kind of on my own for those. So we'll see how those videos turn out. Cross your fingers and uh, wish me luck, because it's going to be quite the journey. Now, uh, that's going to actually wrap it up for LEGO City Undercover Special Assignment 5 dirty work aka lego city bank we went in through we trudged our way all the way through some laser beams that didn't seem to hurt us but melted gold and all sorts of bad guys who weren't really good for anything but getting in our way so feel free to follow us on any of our social media which links for those can also be found down below in the video description and we also have a thumby must see video as well as a trophy achievement guide on our website happythumbsgaming.com so check it check it out as for me that's gonna do it as always until next time see ya